Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another show here, a show in which I talk about all the mechanical keyboard group by news that's happening this week. So thanks everyone for joining in. Let's see, we've got AnnoyDB, Secret Ninja Man, Neffert, Chef Cartier. Thanks guys for joining in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But yeah, here, let's, let's start off with some music. As some of you know, this stream was supposed to be earlier today. Well, at least that's what I mentioned last week, simply because my wife and I had plans for, for like Valentine's Day. But it's snowing here, here in Seattle and we couldn't really get out very much, so we figured we would postpone it till next Friday instead. So here I am, here I am at 7.30 p.m. PST, doing the usual. But yeah, Let's see, tonight, oh, today I did walk to the grocery store. That was the only way to get there. And while I was there, I decided to pick up something new. Here we go. Found this in the Asian food section. <laughs> Royal Milk Tea. Check it out. Not from Taiwan though, from Japan apparently. The finest blend of black tea infused with 25% milk. <laughs> oh yeah, let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. I've never really had black tea from Japan before. So yeah, this is one of the few things that we picked out. We're honestly quite concerned that we might lose power. So we're like, okay, let's just grab a bunch of things that you don't need to put in the fridge. See, Barugi subscribing with Twitch Prime. Thank you. Thank you very much. There we go. Let's see. Hmm. see what, what is the color of this? All right, is it going to be any good? Oh, not bad, actually. Um... You guys might have seen another milk tea that I've drank on stream before. Basically, it was awesome milk tea. This one tastes remarkably similar to it, but for 40 cents more. So I'm like, shoot, we'll have to buy something cheaper. <laughs> anyway, if you guys are new to the show, if you guys are new to the show, I talk about mechanical keyboard group buys. Crucified Poo says, get snowed in. Yes, I did, unfortunately. But yeah, if you guys are new to the snow, I talk about mechanical keyboard group buys, anything from keycaps, keyboards, switches, basically anything that I can find. So yeah, um, usually I try to keep it limited to only within the week, so I don't talk about anything that happened before, after, next month, next year, you know, I just try to keep it within this next seven day time period, Sunday to Saturday, so that people can focus and, you know, spend money only on things that are ending this week or starting and ending this week. So yeah, thanks guys for joining in. Uh, we'll be starting, let's see, what should we start with? Let's start off with our very first ending group buy. Here we go. Here, the very first ending group buy is MBK Legend keycaps. So yeah, this one's all the way on mkultra.click. If you're wondering why you've never heard of these before, well, check it out. These are not Cherry Profile key, or these, these are not Cherry MX keycaps. These are chalk keycaps. Oh, that's not what I meant. I meant this one right here. Chalk keycaps for those chalk switches. So quite a quite a small audience unfortunately um, I personally don't have any of these of these switches and I don't really know anyone who has one either out of cur out of curiosity anyone on stream do you guys have any chalk switches really curious just message here in chat if you do right here check it out Kajata says join, so he probably has chalk switches. <laughs> but yeah, most of these kits, most of these kits are 30 bucks. See, so you've got alphas for 30, um, white on black, there's the color one for 30, and the most expensive ones are actually the mods. The mods are 32 each. Yeah, so 30 and 32, not that expensive to be honest. Sark is in the process of designing a chalk gin. Interesting, cool. 
Sound Toxin has 8 chalk switches on my pinky 4 for the thumb key. Renderling has chalk macro pad. Interesting. Kajot tells us we'll be building the Ferris Sweep someday. Well, if you are in need of keycaps, please consider this. This is ending tomorrow, actually, and is relatively cheap. Let's see, are these... What are these? Are these double shot or what? Mm. Die sub. There we go. These are die sub kits. So these are PBT. Um, expected delivery date is the end of May 2021. So this is a relatively quick group buy, all things considered. Um, he like even says, group buy sales at finals and delays are possible. So maybe not May, but possibly later on in the year. Anyway, if you guys are interested and have chalk switches, check it out before the 15th. Let's see, next group buy that is ending is also ending tomorrow. There we go, another key set right here. This one is all the way on drop. These are white on black katakana keycaps. These are all GMK as well, but as you can see, it's just one kit. Here, let's take a look at this kit right there. That is one kit for 120 bucks. And if you look closer, it's all just katakana. There are no English legends at all. There, there are a few icon ones right here though, so that's good. But yeah, you get full kit support or full size support with all the usual smaller ones such as Sangin, HHKB, let's see, is 65 supported there? Looks like it, 65 and 75, so yeah. You get all that custom, you get all the basic layout support up to full size. Cool, cool, cool. 120 bucks, not a bad price. Personally though, um, I like Katakana as sub-legends, but not so much as the main legend like this. Um, I'd probably feel differently if I could actually read Japanese, but since I don't, this isn't really going to do it for me, to be honest. Let's see, when is delivery date? Estimated ship date is September 30th, 2021. That's, that's not bad at all. But given what Drop does, this is not surprising. Drop usually puts in orders well, well before the group buy is actually done. So this is probably just them being extra careful here. But yeah, as usual though, delays. So maybe more like October. Anyway, this one ends tomorrow. If you're a fan of Katakana Legends, kindly click that link. Next up, next up is a kit that I talked about in my missed group by section last week. There we go. This is DSA Nature Witch by Infinikey. So also a single kit key set. This one for 115 bucks. But look at the size of this kit. Look at the size of this kit. It's not just full size, it doesn't just include 65 and 75% support. It's got all these novelties and alternate alternate um, function row keys as well. Quite a large kit. And I know that there's also a desk mat along with this. Let's see, 115 for the single kit and 25 bucks for each desk mat. Um, I think when I first talked about this, the crowd favorite was Magical Moths. But since I am not, I, I don't like insects, this one actually looks kind of gross to me. <laughs> if I had to pick one, I'd probably pick... I don't think I'd pick any of them, to be honest. <laughs> um, I'd also probably not go for the kit at all. Like, colors don't really speak to me at all. Um, I do like the novelties. They're pretty cute, but we'll not be spending 115 just for the novelties. Here, let's see if we can get a closer look at those novelties. Uh, does he have a novelties only? Here we go. Here's one. Here's a picture of the novelties. See, so you've got a witch's hat, a wand of sorts, mushrooms, um, some kind of potion of sorts. I guess it's a magical potion in a teacup. 
Who knows? <laughs> right. Anyway, if this is a kit that you guys like, this one expires on the 19th. So you've got a few more days here. And those are all the key sets that are expiring this week. Just to recap that, that's DSA Nature Witch, Infiniki DSA Nature Witch, GMK White on Black Katakana, and the MBK Legend keycaps. Out of these three, which ones are you guys most interested in? I know it's not really a strong showing this week, but you know, it's, it's three key sets. Which ones are you guys most interested in? Cracker Clack says none. Yeah, not a strong showing this week at all. See, once again, that's MBK Legend, GMK Katakana, and Infiniki Nature Witch. Bookmonger says Moth Dustmat, none. None, none. <laughs> Jumped in on the white on black katakana, says buddy557. NoiDB says none. I'll pass this week. None, none. Hey, this might be the first week since I started this, this show where a majority of people have said none so far. Yeah, it's a, it's a week. Week key set week. Zark ordered most of the MBK Legends. Nice. Bix baby says, I'm not really picky, but not really feeling any. I'm going to agree with a majority of you here. Number one, I don't really own any chalk keyboards. Um, while I like Katakana, I don't like it as, as the main legend. I like it as a sub legend. And Infiniki DSA Nature Witch just doesn't appeal to me in any shape or form. So yeah, nothing for me either this week. All right, let's talk about boards now. Let's talk about some boards. The first board that is expiring, something I talked about, I feel like I talked about this a long, long time ago. I'm kind of surprised how the group buy has been running for so long, but here we go. This is the Conundrum, an ortholinear Topra keyboard right here. And prices are in Canadian. 790 Canadian is roughly $624. But yeah, check it out. Estimated shipping date is Q3 2021. You can pick several case colors, white, black, or yellow. You can also modify the bottom case color. And I guess they have assembly services as well. Um, the domes, as you can see, are all Cherry MX compatible, so you can pick between 45 and 55G. Not the domes, but the stems on the domes are Cherry MX compatible. But yeah, let's take a look at some of the specifications here. This is a 5 degree ortholinear board, top mounted as well. Um, electrophoresis coating on top and bottom case pieces, but the brass is PVD coated. Nice, okay. Comes with the carrying case, brass polishing cloth, USB-C, and an easy assembly station. Interesting. Chef Cartier says, I think they extended the GB deadline. Are you sure? Look, see? Group by duration to February 14th, 2021. That is, that is today, Valentine's Day. But Chef Cartier may, may know more information than me. Yeah, let's see. Anything else here? Oh, yep. If you're here in North America, Ash Keebs is your is your source to buy this. If you're in the EU, there's Candy Keys and Thok.co. Because every everywhere else is Z Frontier. Cool, cool, cool. Crucified Poo says, got all of the weird stuff tonight. I know, right? Okay. Tonight might be all the weird stuff, but wait till you hear the total price once we're all done. Alright? There you go. Oh, yeah, if, you, if you guys are looking for an ortholinear Topra board and happen to have a cool, what, 620 bucks, check out that link before, oh, actually it ends today, February 14th. There we go. Next board is another board that could be considered weird. 
There you go. All the way on boardsource.xyz. This is the Technic. There you go. Another ortholinear. Look at that. Kind of reminds you of the plot because it's pretty much like the same layout. But here, what what does this tell us? Um, this looks to be oh yeah, chalk switches. So I guess if you if you buy this board and need a key set. You can go check this out as well. There we go. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. The Chef de Cartier says, Oh no, today is last day I meant in past. That was an edge, but then thought I missed it, and then somewhere the GBO is going to open. So, ah, okay. I see what you mean. Let's see. Any, any specifications? There we go. That's what I want. These are all just size. Stuff. But here we go, per key addressable RGB lighting, also has RGB underglow, uh, what else, black and white plate, screws and bump-ons, okay, and you can get this switch in particular, the perps, interesting, cool, 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 okay, that is not the board we're talking about, we're just talking about we are talking about this guy, the ortholinear one, right there. So yeah, this board, you can pick this board up for a cool 200 bucks with all of the options. Renderling says, I'd be tempted if it was a 50% Prionic style board. Oh, um, I could see that. Yeah, here we go. This one ends tomorrow. T tomorrow, February 15th. Check it out if you guys want a low profile ortholinear. All right, next up, next next up is a board that's not too weird, but I guess that the design is weird. Here, let's talk about this one. Boom. All the way on novel keys. This is the box 75. Basically a 75% that was that's designed that the design is inspired by by a Japanese architect, I believe, and basically his famous quote is, a box that provokes. But yeah, for the white PVD version, or basically any of the PVD versions, it's 650 bucks. If you want to save a little bit of money, you can go for the stainless steel one, I guess, the SS, for 550 bucks. Bibix Baby got the black PVD box 75 today. Dang, dude. All right, let's take a look at some specs here. Seven degree typing angle, QMK via support. Um, let's see. Aluminum flux cut plate. PCB designed by Gondolindrum. Paron plate foam, Paron case foam. Cool, cool, cool. Um, what else? Group by ends on the 19th. Expected ship date Q4 2021 or possibly Q1 2022. Let's, you know what, let's see if we can, let's find a good picture here. I actually covered this in my interest check news segment. Mainly because I thought that the, I thought that the design was so unique. Like, if you guys ever watch like my interest check videos, I like to pick stuff that that catches my attention, you know, so it's not always necessarily good. Like for this one, for this board in particular, I think it's cool looking, but the legs, like the legs kind of remind me of furniture, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's like your board has become furniture. But what you guys are looking at here is how the board is split up. Do that. I do like that it's not a 75% where everything is crammed up together. You've got your arrow key split off, your rightmost column, and, and your F row. All that is all nice and dandy. I'm just not too excited about these feet. You know? Look at that. Got Gondolundrum design PCB. Cool, cool, cool. Bag of Olives says, yeah, I was hoping the legs would get changed a little in terms of the feet. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like it's a lot of money. 
feet look. There we go. That's what the feet look like. Right there. Furniture feet. One thing I'd be concerned about is how sharp these feet are. For those of you who, who have some really nice dust mats, um, I don't know if this might damage it. Who knows? You know? Let's see any other photos here. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see, Brent R says it's polished on the corners. OZ Obsession says, I talked to the designer, comes with bumpers. Oh, okay, nice. It's been tested by several streamers. It doesn't damage the dust mat at all. Okay, that's good. That's very good to hear. You can make and put silicon legs, but you can use, but if you use a Box 75, are you really worried about dust mat? That's true, that's true. Especially if you go for the PVD variant for 650 bucks, you know? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Cool. Anyway, if you guys are interested in a very expensive 75% keyboard with, what, burger mount, burger mount, 7 degree typing angle, and unique looking feet, check out this link. Check out that link before the 19th. Cool. Alright, the last keyboard that is ending this week. There you go. For those of you who love the Alice, there you go. All the way on sneak box design, the Ava. Basically, the shell is two two hundred seventy. You can pick up a PCB for a little bit more. Let's see the Polycarb version. Oh, they are they are all the same. But this one expires, I believe, on the twentieth. There we go. Perfect. Let's go take a look at some of these photos. Yeah. Looks pretty good. And the price looks really good too. Actually, actually, let's go look at some of the specs again. Here you can do rotary knob. It's got a 60 degree typing angle, seamless appearance. Cool. Blockered four key nav cluster, blockered arrow cluster. Ergo angle 12 degree nose, USB C, tab gasket mounted switch plate. You, you have options for case foam and apparently a wrist rest as well. Case feet are silicone. Cool, cool, cool. Not bad for 270 bucks. Nice. Look at all that. I guess that's the prototype unit. Nice. Okay. The yellow one looks pretty good. Picture updated for a better color representation. Pantone 7563C. Vivex says 270. Yes, 270 is only for the case. If you want to get the PCB, you need to spend an additional 50 bucks. You've got your option between hot swap and soldered. Both are 50 bucks, actually. Let's see. There we go. Features. At Mega 32U4, underglow RGB for all variants, three LED indicator lights, rotary encoder at the escape position. Cool. No, no mention of ESD support or ESD protection. Let's see. Are there any other photos of the PCB? Nope. That's the only, only photo of it. The Bad Star says, what would you rather go with, an Alice type board or an Ergodox type board? I would go with neither. Here we go. Cool. Alright, this one, yeah, this one's all part of the same group by date, so also ends February 20th. Tofuki says, Muji said the PCB has C protection. I assume you mean ESD protection. Ah, there we go. You fixed it. ESD protection. Cool, cool, cool. Well, yeah, this one expires on the 20th. This coming Saturday. So if you guys are looking for a relatively affordable Alice style keyboard, check it out. Check it out. Check it out before the 20th. 
And with that said, that is the end of our keyboard group by section. So as a quick recap, that is the Ava from Sneakbox, Sneakbox Design. You can buy all the parts here. Um, what's next? The Box 75 from Novel Keys, the Board Source Technic, and the Conundrum. Out of these four keyboards, which keyboard are you guys most interested in? Packed Review says, I watched your stream the other day. I ended up getting the Neo while pre-ordering. Nice. Speaking of the Neo, that's what I'm using right now. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, I got the RGB working as well. Yeah. No Kiwi says, 2021 has been dry. I'm not complaining. Chef Cartier says, Conundrum. He's getting, you're getting the Conundrum. Nice. King Friday is not interested in any, but I guess Conundrum is unique enough to be interesting. Cool, cool, cool. Buddy would also want to get the Conundrum just to try Topra. Um, if you want to get, if you want to try Topra, I'd say just to go for an HHKB. Vivix got the Box 95, passing on the Alice because I got a JP02. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. Tofuki's bought into the Ava. Really like the symmetrical design. Yeah. 270 plus what? So it's 320 total with that PCB. Not a bad line at all. Quacker Clack says, what's the link for the Neo? Oh, uh, here, let me. Neo Palette G67. So it's over by Neo Keys. Here. I'll give you guys the, the Neo Keys link. Right there. What keycaps are on my Neo? Um, you guys can find out exactly what keyboard I've got by doing the exclamation point keyboard command, but this one, this is SA Olivia. Let's see. SA Olivia, yep. SA Olivia. But yeah, just as a quick recap, the four keyboards that are ending this week are the Conundrum, the Box 75, the Technic, and the Ava. There we go. All right. Oh, I, did, I, I didn't even show that. Here, let's, let's try that again. Conundrum, Technic, Box 75, and the Ava right there so as usual how much is it gonna cost to join every single group by ending this week Sunday through Saturday how much will it cost you the grand total the grand total this week mainly because of the of the conundrum and the box 75 guys mainly because of those two boards the grand total this week to join every single group ride that I just talked about is $2,223. $2,223 that unfortunately does not include any shipping, any taxes, or any customs fees. But it's $2,223 just to join the group buys alone. So yeah. Yeah, quite an expensive week compared to last. Last week was probably the cheapest week of the year. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, not bad, but still. Like, I think we've been averaging over, over a thousand every week, you know? <laughs> Plutonium says, so we should get a key cult in other words. Oh, key cult aftermarket. You know, you can either buy a key cult or you can join every single group buy. You know? Up to you which which one you guys want to do. Let's see. Let's see what's next. What's next? Oh, yep. Because I can't possibly find every single thing that's ending or starting, I I need to have a missed group buy segments, you know, so this is with me doing my research and people during the audience group buy section filling me in. We still miss quite a few. 
No KV says, is saving our money an option? No, it's not. If you cannot afford to spend 2,233 on keyboards, you should just donate that to me instead <laughs> so that I can buy it. <laughs> but yeah, we'll do miss, miss, miss group buys right now. Okay, so this one, this first one here, you know, um, there we go. This, this first one is the desk mat that started on the 10th. Here we go. <laughs> no cases. All right, I sold you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, so these are the missed ones. Oh, this first one is a sushi desk mat for 26 bucks. This is all the way on zionstudios.ph. This is a keyboard store located in the Philippines. QK gets you a lot of milk teas. Yes, it does. But yeah, check, check it out. You've got several different sushi style dust mats. Like, like, look at this. You got salmon inside a switch. That's super cute. Let's see, you've got wild wasabi, taro salmon, electric nori, laser sake, cosmo ebi. I think the one I would pick is probably Cosmo Ebi for 26 bucks. But yeah, looks looks pretty good. Look at all these vendors. I will have to buy a few. <laughs> okay. Ah, not bad. The only gripe, the only gripe that I have with the desk mat like this is that the design is in the middle, right? And people typically put their keyboard in the middle, you know, or middle or like to, to the side. Let's see. Look. See that? The keyboard has to be put away from the, from the design. <laughs> cool. So yeah, this one ends on the, on the 28th, February 28th, and orders will be shipped in April. So yeah, check this place out. Check this key set out. There we go. Designers still can't figure out desk mats. Okay, so that's just my thing. I'm not a desk mat designer by any means. It's just me talking about where I would likely put my keyboard. Here we go. This next item that I missed started on the 12th. Here we go. This one is a GMK devoted style JWK switch. So what's different about this other than the color? Um, both the top housing and the bottom housing are, are made out of nylon and it is a tactile switch. Let's see, the weight is 63.5 and apparently they are describing it as preferred to have the tactility of a Cherry MX clear stem. Okay, so yeah, this, this might these might feel like, these might feel like Ergo Pandas, you know? Oh, sorry, not, not Ergo Pandas, Ergo Clears, that's the term. But yeah, as some of you know, I am, like, I like how JWK switches feel. I just always thought that the typical polycarb top and like nylon bottom, always sounded a bit too tinny. So with something that, that's both nylon top and bottom, this should sound closer to like a Gateron ink, possibly closer to a cherry switch. So yeah, if you've been disappointed with how your JWK switch sounds, try this. Try this, let's see. Six bucks for a pack of 10. Yep, six bucks for a pack of 10. Um. Any notice of when it's being sent out? Oh, it's in stock. It's actually in stock. There we go. It is actually in stock. So if you guys want this, check it out. Check it out. Sean says, got a question for you. What's one of your favorite in stock keycap sets? You'll have to wait until we get to the in stock segment. <laughs> But here we go. Um, next thing that I missed started on the 12th, and this is a keyboard. Here we go. The Bad Star says, Do you know any tactile switches comparable to a Zelio switch? Um, 
the Bobas are com oh, it's like the Bobas and the T1s are are the ones most recommended whenever someone says, "Hey, are ZL switches good?" Then people are like, "Oh, try try T1, try try the Bobas, you know, just cuz ZLs are pretty expensive." And those two other ones are slightly cheaper. But here we go. I I just linked something in chat. This is the SG81. Check it out. Look at this board, guys. This is a 40%, a 40% with the number separated out, and then it's got a arrow key separated out as well, along with a numpad. But yeah, just to show you guys what that looks like with keycaps. Like the left half is very much a 60%. Do that just just at the yeah, this just just at the numbers it's like it's like split out like that. So Fire Bazooka says weird. Yeah, I know it's weird. It's weird, but I like it. I like it. I like it because it's got a thick bezel. I like boards with thick bezels. Do that. Look at that. Oh, I'm glad that they've got the a WKL option and a win key option. Cool. Nice. Let's see. This looks to be a top mount board. Is it top mount? Yes, it is a top mount board and comes with some foam as well. PCB foam or plate foam along with bottom foam. Not bad. Oh yeah, here we go. Top mount, aluminum top and bottom case. FR4 plate, interesting, cool. I've been seeing that as a as a default plate for a lot more boards lately. Soldered PCB, ISO support, price TBD, group by 20. Oh, well the group by is actually already happening. You guys can click the group by form here. I think it's a Google form, if I'm not mistaken. Let's look at the gallery. It should give us a lot more photos. Uh, too big. Too big. Let's see what happened. This gallery is empty. Or maybe I'm just not loading it. <laughs> Fire Bazooka says, I kind of want to buy it and map the top number to be function keys. You could. You could. But it looks like his Imgur album is not loading. So, never mind that. Never mind that. I'm curious about the layout. Can oh, render gallery? Does this one give me stuff? Yes, it does. Look at that. Here we go. SG81 with SA keys. Chung H1 says I see reviews today. No, this is my group by stream. I see reviews are on YouTube and they come out. Whenever I happen to read through ICs. SG81, not from Sam, cool. Look at that, that's, that's another render. It reminds me of like a miniature 1800. Oh, there we go. GMK Nautilus right there. The 60% with the macro pad, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Oh, this looks great. Very pretty. Very pretty. Oh, nine more images. I like that. Yeah, I think... I think I quite like it because of the... of the thick bezels. This is the kind of board that I like. Seeing the backspace so high is weird. I know, right? See, that's that's actually my question. Can can we see if the backspace has support for split? And from this PCB, there is only one position there. So this has to be a 2U key. So the person who was talking about making this an entire Afro, you would still need to put a 2U key there, which is really weird. This honestly should have been a split backspace key. Yeah. Weird, weird, weird. Oh, look, it comes with a carrying case. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. 
All right. Well, here, let's just click on the group buy form really quick so we can see what the what the prices are. Here we go. Here we go. 349 bucks. Extra PCB is 39, brass plate is 39, shipping fee is 40 to 60 USD. Minimum order quantity is unlimited. What? Um, he, he probably didn't understand what that meant. Let's see. Estimated group buy starting on the 12th, ending on the 5th. Estimated delivery three to four months. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Anyway, if you guys are interested, check it out. Check it out. It started on the 12th. The last board that I missed. There we go. This one is the, the, hopefully I'm pronouncing it correct, the NATO and ISOS Alice board. Here, let's go look at the MJ album. Basically, that's it. That's it. And Alice with an ISO key. So, I guess the people who would buy these are people in Europe, I assume? That's where ISO is most prevalent. <laughs> it's also got an encoder on top right there. Cool. See anything else? 68 keys in ISO layout. Pre-flash with QMK and tested before shipping. Fully assembled PCB. Via and VL. If we get PR merged, okay. Let's see, PCB case. Oh, that's, that's not bad at all. How much is 60 euro in USD? 60 euro to USD is 72 bucks. Cool. So that's 72 bucks and 72 bucks and 84 bucks. Cool. Not bad at all. Here we go. A couple more images we can go through. Why is it just one image? It said images. <laughs> Where to buy and more info about the whole project. There we go. That's what I want. Cool. I like that design on the PCB. Let's see, it's a soldered PCB, but... What, what's the layout support on this? Other than ISO? Okay, um, looks like it's only one layout. Interesting. If it was one layout, maybe it would have been good if we had made it hot swap. Whew! I just got a bunch of subscribers here. Here we go. Let's see. Let's start from the bottom. Wood Smoke, Wolf Brodsky, Alacrat. Alejandro, Dimitri, Giovanni, Matthew Jiggins, Garrett, and I do not know how to pronounce your name, but I assume it's Max? Max Art? Well, guys, thanks for subscribing. Every little bit helps here. Every little bit, bit helps me buy more keyboards to review on stream, I guess. So thank you guys. Thank you very much. All right, if you guys are interested in an ISO Alice board, kindly click that link. This, this started on the 12th. All right, let's see. Next segment is in stock. So this is the, this is the third week of me doing in stock segments here. And I'm noticing that I tend to talk about the same stuff over and over again, because sometimes stock is, there, there's like a lot of them. So I'm gonna try and just go through this relatively quick. And most of my in-stock items are on drop. So it's not like I'm trying to, you know, like drop isn't a sponsor of the show. It just so happens that they have a lot of items there. But yeah, let's start, let's talk about the first one. First one is actually not on drop, but I figured I'd talk about it because it's Valentine's Day. This one is EPBT Valentine, all the way on Originative for 70 bucks. Check it out. It's got quite a large kit support. Let's see. 
for 70 bucks, you quite literally get all of this. You get numpad, you get, you know, all, all of these novelties. You know, there's just so much of them, see? So you can get pink mods and you can get beige mods. Um, I own the pink mods, but I've seen people with the beige mods and I think the beige mods look a lot nicer. So if this is something that you like and have 70 bucks to spare, go for the beige mods. So yeah, 165 keys, fits full size, numpad and more, cherry profile, PBT material and die sub. Um, I will have to mention though that one of my space bars that I got was slightly warped. So keep that in mind when you purchase this set. There we go. Next up is on drop. There we go. MP3 ju jukebox. If you're a fan of the MP3 profile, but also like jukebox, this might be the one to get. We'll check it out. Check it out. Currently in stock for 110 bucks. Next up is XDA Canvas. Canvas is actually one of my favorite. It's 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 one of my favorite sets, and I don't know why. I, I I really don't know why I like it so much. It's it's a set that I use at work actually. <laughs> so yeah, um, I am looking for the Bauhaus mod. So if I ever see the Bauhaus mods available, I'll probably have to buy them. But usually on drop. All they have is a TKL kit, a 65 kit, 1800, or an ortho kit. Like they don't split it out between like mods and colors and stuff like that. So yeah, um, see so yeah, TKL kit is 85, ortho kit is 75, all fairly affordable. So yeah, check it out, check it out if interested. Currently in stock. Next up is, here we go. GMK Red Samurai, also on drop. Only two kits available this time, TKL and 65. 65 being $10 cheaper, check it out. And unfortunately, by buying the TKL set, the larger set, you're not gonna get support for 65. Like you really do have to pick and choose which one you want. But yeah, 190 bucks. Let's see. Next GMK kit, also on drop. Here we go. This one is GMK Pulse. Um, you basically just have two kits as well. You get the base for 155. What is the base cover? There we go. Base covers that. That's the base. So this one is unlike the Red Suns or the XDA one. This was a typical Typical GMK base kit, which is why it's more expensive at 155 as opposed to 90 and what 90 and 100 bucks right there. So this is what you would typically get. The other kit is the Metolet kit. This one is only this one only covers up to TKL, so keep that in mind, which is why the pricing is a little bit cheaper, a little bit cheaper. So yeah. Check this out. Um, Jop does have several others, but they're not like XDA or like MP3 or like any of that. So yeah, check those out. Check those out if you guys have time. Cure4809 says, would you like to review my kit pre-IC set? Yeah, sure. Send it to me on Discord and I'll look over it when I got some time. I'd be happy to give you some of my thoughts. Let's see. All right, we are about almost an hour in the show at this point and just getting into starting goodbyes. Oh wait, someone earlier mentioned like out of all the in-stock kits, uh, which one I thought was best, which one I liked the most. Um, I'm a big GMK person. I like Cherry Profile a lot, so um, the one that I would pick is probably the 65% kit from GMK Red Sun, because 90 bucks, 90 bucks for a GMK kit is a pretty good deal, even though it doesn't cover a lot. A lot of my boards are 65%, so I think this would look good. 
in second place, the one that I would get is probably... Mm, actually, I don't think there's a second place. This is the kit that I would get. <laughs> Credits, uh, still waiting on them to ship that blue samurai. If I see blue samurai sa samurai on this, I will probably buy it right away. I've been waiting for that set. I kind of kicked myself when I skipped out on, on the group buy, but you know, these things will always come back. Crucified Poo says, is that the same purple on violet on cream? I assume you're talking about Mitolet. Unfortunately, that is not a question I can answer because I am partially colorblind to the color purple. So yeah, that's not that's not something I can can answer for you, unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah. Let's see, cat says just got Meatolet. Very solid set. Nice. Very cool. All right, let's talk about starting group buys. Starting group buys. Most of these won't be linked to a vendor, but will be just a geek hack link since these haven't started. In fact, none of the group buys that I'm talking about are, are, are even starting today. The earliest one starts tomorrow. So let's talk about that. Buy Me Cloud says, how fast does GMK shine? Um, the dirtier your fingers, the faster they shine, but I think I, I have a GMK set that I've managed to not shine for a good four months at this point. So there we go. Very first one is... Plutonium says, did you already do ending group buys? Yes, ending group buys is the first segment on the show. But here we go. The very first starting group buy is GMK Iceberg. This one starts tomorrow and is ending a month from then, on March 15th. But look, check it out. Base kit covers pretty much everything up to full size. You've got the, I don't even know how to pronounce that, Enuk, Enuk Tita Kit. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that. And look, sub legends, sub legends that we have never seen before. Very cool. Look at all this. Um, if you've noticed... Oh, here we go. These are the novelties. I am a big fan of these novelties, guys. Like, I'm I'm honestly not a fan of the color, but these novelties are great. This is probably another one of those sets, which I won't buy the kit, but I'll buy the novelties. <laughs> you know? Oh, look at that! It's an igloo! That's so cute! There's an igloo, there's a bear, there's a penguin, there's a narwhal, there's an eskimo, and I'm assuming these things are the iceberg where it's like, you see the iceberg above water, but the significant portion is underwater. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Let's look at some renders. The renders are my favorite part of every group by thread. Because you get to imagine. You get to imagine that you have it. <laughs> Redeemed Hydrate! Thank you, thank you so much from Hong Hing Tai Lo. I don't really have much more to redeem, but maybe I will grab another one. <laughs> Let's see. Pretty cool. Literally. Yeah, um, like the more I look at this, I like the novelties, but the colors, the colors just don't speak to me at all. Oh man, the bad star says ice cold. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, not, not a set that I like. Okay, so maybe with the... With the accent, it starts to look nicer. But with the regular ones, like with the regular colors, it's not really, it's not all that great, to be honest. Something about the Black Legend seems off to me. Ah, yes. 
I see that. I see that. Look at that. Project P PTB says it looks kind of boring. Yeah, I I can agree with that. OZ Obsession says you'll regret not getting this one. It's the new Shoko. Okay, so get this. Uh, when I looked at Shoko, Shoko, I was like, yeah, I like that set, but I don't have money, <laughs> right? This one, I'm like, even if I had the money, I probably wouldn't go for it. And they're like, GMK is so expensive. I can't, I can't afford to just buy key sets just because it looks cool, you know? Like I, I, I really have to love it. I really have to be able to envision it on one of my boards, you know? But here, let's take a look at the dust mats. So the dust mats are, are another thing that I like here. You guys heard what I said about the sushi dust mats. I like how the iceberg is shifted ever so slightly to, to the left. So when you put your keyboard there, it's not, it's, it's like not in the way, right? But then you, you've got this one, so I'm like, ah, <laughs> not so sure about that. Non-compressed renders here. Nice. Cool. Anyway, vendors for these are going to be Mex & Co. in North America, My Keyboard, KBD Fan, Daily Clack, and Desk Hero. A couple collabs here. Acero Foundry, Rocket Cables, Lux Cables. Pricing TPA, well, I guess we'll find out tomorrow since this is supposed to go to a live tomorrow. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. If you guys want to know more about the set or join in on the conversation, kindly click that Geek Hack link. The set, once again, starts tomorrow. There we go. The next set that is starting is also starting tomorrow. This one is GMK Inukuma, and this one actually has the pricing all set. Go check it out. Okay, so this this is a colorway that's more my speed. Oh here, let's see, base kit 135. That's that's pretty similar. Let's see, Ilum KB, Daily Clack, Candy Keys, Ash Keys, and Prime Keyboards are all the vendors here. Project PTTV says that set looks looks dope. Nice, yeah. I like it, but still, I feel like that there's something missing here. Like it's, I like it, but it's still not enough for me to want to buy it. You know, it's just like a noir set. Says Kath. Yeah, I can see that. Except this one looks more saturated. This looks like a more saturated noir set. Yeah, let's look at the desk mats. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> nice. All right, let's look at renders. Here we go. Here we go. Maybe the renders will will convince me. Mm, what? Only two renders? Only two renders? Why? And why is it on the same on the same type of board? Okay. Old King. Okay. Those dust mats are must buy. Mm. Yeah, not not too excited about this set to be honest with you guys. Especially when you check those out, guys. Like, look, okay. So it's 135 bucks. 135 is usually what you get for a GMK key set that pretty much fits 100%, right? 100% key set. But this one, this one's only up to TKL. Like, maybe it's because of the sub legends, maybe because it's the custom colors, but 135 for a TKL set, even with ISO keys and a novelty enter, I think that's. I think that's a bit too expensive. Like, maybe if this was. 120, that would be fine. But 100, 135. 135 seems a little too expensive. Yeah. See, look, numpad is is split out. See, how much is the numpad on its own? 40. 
45 for the numpad. That is, that is expensive. Expensive, expensive, expensive. Okay. Mm, anyway, if you guys are interested in this set, Please click that link. This one starts tomorrow. You can read up more information about it or you can join the conversation. No KB says 180 for a full kit. Yeah, 180 for a full kit. That is. That's pricey. That is very pricey. Alright, let's see. Next, next item. Next item that is starting this week also starts tomorrow. Lots, lots of stuff starting tomorrow, actually. Lucky but not really says, I need a drink. You have my permission to grab one. <laughs> Make yourself at home. Grab a drink. <laughs> but here we go. This is the next item on the list. This is EPBT e Wraith Dark. Check it out. This one, base kit for 109 bucks. NoiDB says, Merlin, can you turn down your music? Interesting, my music has been the same volume for the last two years. <laughs> Here, but I will lower it for you. There we go. Here it goes, yeah, this is base kit for 109 bucks. Space bars for 17. So let's take a look at what we get for 109. Look at that, we get basically lots of keys with sub legends. Bad says, can you turn up your music? Go away. <laughs> there we go, we got up to full sized. Uh, I see Sangin and I see Sangin support. Is there HHKB support for that split backspace? Um, probably something on the R4 here, maybe? maybe? Cat's uh, too busy for me. Yeah, I can see that. So what looks completely out of place here are the arrow keys, see? The arrow keys are the only ones that are icon. Like everything else is both text and icon, or just text only. But the arrow keys are just icon. It seems so out of place. Like I feel like it should have just been like up, down, left, and right. Right? Peter Papa says no HHKB support. Um, yes, there is HHKB support. You just have to. If you look, if you look at the bottom here, you see the black Dell Graph Cat. And let's see, do we have a delete key in place of the pipe? Do we? Do we have a delete key? No, here we go, delete format. There it is, yeah. Chat says, yep, they look like from a different set, arrow keys, yeah. Yeah, it, it, should've, it should've been up, down, left, right. So, yeah. But for a kit that's only 109 bucks, that's not bad. This one goes all the way till March 15th. Let's see what else. What else does it say? Any more information on delivery? Uh, oh, estimated ship date. This will be announced after the group buy ends. Bbix Baby says, way too crowded for my taste. I can see that. I can see that, but yeah, here we go, okay. so. When I looked at this set, this immediately reminded me of the... Here, let's see. Do I have it with me? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. It immediately reminded me of this board that I have here. Let's see. Let's see if I can pull it out here. Mm. Is it? Okay. Here we go, here we go. This is an old vintage board. Well, I guess it's not so vintage because you can still see this at select airports. Specifically if you travel on like American Airlines, right? If you go to the airport and you go up to the counter, have your passport scanned and all that, 
you will most likely see a board like this. Passport scanner, all that stuff. And this set reminded me of this, um, simply because it like really depends on, there, 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 there are some models which have more sub legends, but, but yeah, take a look at this kit. On the side of each of the keys, you've got like ticket, TL, phone, SAG, name, display, a bunch of that. But yeah, this, this set, this set here that we're talking about reminded me of this keyboard, which is why I like it. Bbix Baby says it's to swipe a credit card. Yeah, it's to swipe a credit card and a passport. So, um, you know, I, I've been really wanting to test this for the longest time. So, um, if you guys wouldn't mind whispering me all your credit card info, we can test it on stream. All right, let's go put it away. <laughs> let's go put it away. This is a board that I've had for quite some time. <laughs> Let's put it here for now. I'll go, I'll go put it away later. But yeah, if you guys are interested, this guy started on the 15th and is running till March. NoiDB says, wait one sec, doing it right now. Ah, yes, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> wait, what is the model number? It is a Desco B. Let me look. Let me look again. It's a Desco B, B something. Desco There. There. Let's go look it up. The once the Paul's Wizard of Nigeria. Shh. Here we go. It is the Desco 5200. MOS 5200 made in Germany. Yada yada yada. And one more cool thing about this. All these keycaps are made of palm. Palm and they are lasered. So yeah. It is my goal to one day learn how to design a PCB so I can make another PCB for this and put QMK on it. <laughs> but until then, until then, this sits in the box in my collection. Alright, okay, next, next group buy that is starting is not tomorrow. We, we have made it past tomorrow, <laughs> thank god. But here we go. This one is in another key set. MG Ghost, starting on the 20th, Saturday. Here, let's go scroll to the very top right here. MG Profile. Uh, once again, this is another key set that I can't see very well because it's purple. So yeah, <laughs> don't can't really give much of a commentary on this other than it's purple. And what shade of purple? I don't know. <laughs> it looks like a lighter shade of purple to me, though. Like. It almost looks purple on purple. <laughs> and yeah, look at it. It looks very, I guess, like some so someone's saying inspired by SA Laser. Yeah, I can see that. You like the kidding at the set, but don't like the height of the caps. Let's, see, let's look at the kidding. Kidding's not very easy to read, to be honest. So it looks like standard layout up to full size, couple space bars, Sangin and HHKB support, but how about, how about 65 and 75, is that supported? Hard to tell, hard to read, maybe, maybe not, not sure. Let's look at the novelties, cool. So... That character on top, on R1, that's Gui, which means ghost. 
All the other characters I can't read because those are Japanese. Cool. What is this? <laughs> A mega kit? Just so you can mix and match? Interesting. You got an accent kit? Okay. Oh, here we go. For those of you wondering, what what is MG? Right? Okay, so compared to to other popular high profiles, see you've got SA. SA is the most popular one. It looks very similar to SA, but if you look if you look at the at, at the height here, SA is 16.3, whereas MG is 15.9. So if you've ever thought SA was way too high for you, then this might work, might work. Like compared with MDA, it's it's still higher than MDA, it's still higher than Cherry, all that stuff here. Let's see, the Mega Kit makes a Gengar face when paired with the Alphas. Does it? Does it? Here, let's go look at... Oh, I see it now. There we go. I was wondering why. I was like, what? what is that? But cool. Mystery solved. Mystery solved. Let's see. Any... Any mention of price? Or vendor? Interesting. Oh well, if you guys want to join the join the conversation or read more about this, kindly click that link. But this set is supposed to go into group buy on the twentieth. Vendor is Mel Geek themselves. Ah, okay. There we go. Next one is also on the 20th, EPBT Divine Plan. There we go. Now this is a colorway that I like. Check it out, check out the render. Look <laughs> at that, EPBT sets. I like how there are so many more EPBT sets these days. Very cool. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know what all these symbols mean. The bad star says the blue screams, it's a boy. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Cool. I think this is a very good looking set, to be honest. But here we go. Let's let's look at uh here can can you not here open image in new tab here maybe that that would be better there we go that's better that's better look okay you know what what okay let's see base kit looks like it only goes up to TKL and what does it support here it looks like it supports 65s and 75s that's good I see HHKB yep HHKB and Sangin all it's it's all in there you you've even got icon mods that's cool let's see What else? Um, numpad and accents, novelties. I wish I could zoom in on the novelties more. Blue divine badge, white divine badge, divine badge and color, 40s and blue bar, and pure digimoji. Okay. It's probably not a kit that I would get, but I am greatly considering getting at least the base and probably the the divine badge there you go let's see any more information on here nope not much information to be honest but here let's let's go look at all all of the renders 
Let's scroll to the very top. Let's look at this guy right here. This one looks like a... Is that a Koyu? That looks like a Koyu. A Rama Koyu. Yeah, looks like it. What's this? What's this? I don't know what this is, but it looks good. I like that baby blue color. <laughs> nice. Here it goes. CA66. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a baby blue CA66 though. So that's, that's interesting. Cool. Here we go. Typical, typical 60. Though I know that there is a, there's a blue brutal 60 and I think this set would look really good with it. Let's see, that's the, that's the Dolch.CR, I think. Cool. Yep, that's the Dolch.CR. Hmm. I quite like this set, guys. It's been a while since I've bought any EPBT. In fact, the first one that I'm buying for a very long time, since a very long time, is probably Ramen Stop. This might be a close second. This might be a close second. Oh, look, look at those. Those would work as very good macro keys. Oh, it was a Fox Square 80. Okay, nice. Cool. There we go. Very pretty. Yep, I like this set. I like this set a lot. And apparently it's got two dust mats. Okay. Cool. January says, as a Digimon fan, I'm definitely considering this set. Yeah, it looks it looks really good. We'll probably have to jump in on this. But yeah, this one starts on the 20th. Click that link to learn more or to join the conversation. The keyboard group buy that is starting tomorrow is the Fuji 65. There we go. Let's see. Do I have a better link from here? There we go. Imgur. Let's look at the Imgur album. There we go. Look at that. That is a very beautiful board. <laughs> My playlist ended. Oh, thanks. Let's do... Let's do this one. Yeah, that, that bottom is very beautiful, right there. Look at that, very, very beautiful board with the JTK Avocado. Was, was this really a thing, JTK Avocado? <laughs> cool. Okay. Wish they were doing the Polycarb for the, for the International Buy. Yeah, they're not. JTK natural selection looks good. Looks 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 good. Got white, gray. Load seven more images. Cool, cool. Oh, look, there's a Nautilus colored one. Very nice. Very cool. Anyway, let's take a look at some of its specs. Here we go. It is a rather affordable board, all things considered. Around 280 USD, high spec, going all the way to 350. But yeah, um, not that cheap, but relatively cheap. Let's see, case anno color is grayish blue, red, deep, deep green, black, silver, pink, e white, and PC. But unfortunately, that's not available. Plate color, same color from the case color. Okay, let's see. Mount type is top mount, layout is 65% ANSI fixed, typing degree is 6.5 degrees, QMK and VIA, um, 
Let's see. What else here? Current progress, proto, near to finish. Oh, there's so much text here. Jeez. Okay. So it was first posted on September 19th, but I feel like the text still hasn't been cleaned out really, really well. So let's... Let's look at more pictures. Ah, there we go. That's what I want to see. This is the prototype. That's running GMK Olivia from, from the looks of it. Yeah. 280 for a top mount. Sounds about right. Oh, I like that design. That looks pretty cool. I like it. I quite like it. It's got that blocker, which I like for all my 65s. What else? 6.5 degree typing angle. That's good. Load two more images. I really like that back plate design, or that back weight design. Like, if you didn't know that Fuji was a mountain, this probably wouldn't make sense to you, but, you know, if you're looking at this, you probably know it's a Fuji 65, especially if you're reading through the Geek Hack page, Meet You by the Mountain. You know, what Discord is it being updated on? They actually provide links right here in the group bar. You've got your Discord link, you've got Instagram, and the IC form right there. So yeah, check it out. Check it out, guys. I do wish that they would have posted more pictures of the PCB. But here, check it out. If you guys want to join the conversation or learn more information, this is a group buy that starts tomorrow, February 15th. Next up is another popular board people have been talking about. This is the Icky 68 Aurora. Right there. Oh, not that one. This one. There we go. Icky 68 Aurora. Specs and prices. Let's look at this. This one starts on the 20th, next next Saturday. GB info. Here, this is this is what we need. Mint prototypes will be shipped to Andy. Oh, I think Andy did his stream yesterday. Cool. On February 7th before the Chinese New Year, hex keyboards and prototypists have been added to the vendors list. Cool. Let's see. What else? Details here. This is what what we want 800 G without the internal weight variable gasket mount system waiter well this starts on the 24th on the 24th four more days okay I guess we'll we'll cover this next week yeah here we go there are 10 chips with the gaskets on top cool here I'll just show you guys that cross section right there a gasket mounted board with a lot of gaskets. That's like one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff. Let's see layout support, split backspace, split space, ISO, and stepped caps lock. Cool. Very cool. Lots of different colors as well, such as charcoal, mint, Aurora Misu, Aurora Devoted. PCB is QMK powered, multi layout, hot swap wired. It's funny that they didn't include VIA, but typically if a board is supported in QMK, there is a good chance it'll also be supported in VIA. Not always, but a good chance. Cool. Yeah, look at that price, guys. Look at that price. That is a very good price. <laughs> 129 bucks and the 159 bucks is because it's it's got matching screw and stabilizers right there. But that that is a really good price. 129 bucks for a board that looks like this. Here, let's see if I can get more pictures here. There we go. Um there should be a geek hack page for this. L let me grab it really quick. Yeah, 
Here we go. Got it. I've got the Geek Hack page. Here. I'll post that in chat as well. Here we go. Uh, where are the pictures that I want? Gallery of new renders. Here, let's just go look at here. Look at that. That is a very good looking board, if you ask me. Couple more. Here we go, look at that. Look look at that. Yeah, so so the cool thing about this layout, guys, if, if you go with their standard layout, like the 6.25U space bar and the 1.25U mods, the cool thing about this layout is pretty much any standard key set will fit. Like you don't need to have like a special 1.75U shift, you know, all, all that stuff. Right? Look at that. Jolt Energy says, I would rather the iron. Well, yeah, sure, but these are, these two keyboards are in different price segments with the different features, you know? Let's see, 10 Clueless says, Icky 68 or KBD 67 Lite, which is better? I don't know. I, um, I quite like my KBD 67 Lite, but maybe I will reach out to these fine, fine folk and see if I could get one of these and compare the two. Yeah, this, this is a good looking board. In fact, I think this looks nicer than the KBD67 Lite. But the KBD67 Lite is going to be hard to beat. It's about 20 bucks cheaper and sounds really good. What is the price on this one? This one's 129 bucks. Here, let me scroll down for that. 129 bucks. And of course, as you add on more features and components, it does go up in price. Look at that. It looks really good. Looks re real nice. Alright, guys. Plutonium says Alex Soto's unboxed an Icky 68 and said it's very solid. Yeah, for sure. 2069 Honda Civic says Fuji or Iron 165. You guys should go for the Fuji, so there will be an Iron 165 for me. <laughs> so go for the Fuji. Go for the Fuji. <laughs> there we go. All right. Let's see. Is that... That is the end, guys. That is the end of my list here. Those are all of the group buys that are starting. So just as a quick walkthrough right there. In Keycap land, we've got GMK Iceberg, GMK Inukuma, EPBT Wraith Dark, MG Ghost, EPBT Divine Plan. What else here? In keyboards, we have the Fuji 65 and the Iki 68 Aurora right here. So as usual, as usual, you know, um, there's no way I can hit every single group by keyboard, key set, whatnot. So this is your chance to remind me of a few if you think I missed any. And I actually have a command for that now. It's exclamation point audience GB. Here, let me spam that a bit just so I can make sure people read it. <laughs> but yeah, typically if you think I missed something, send me a whisper here on, tit on Twitch. <laughs> Make sure it's got a link, um, some contacts, start, end date, anything I need to pay attention to. But please, please, please don't send me a group buy that's happening like next month or like last year or next year. Try to keep it within this week, Sunday through Saturday, 14th till the 20th, you know? So yeah, just send this to me by whispering. You can do a slash W command and reach me here this way. Uh, let's see. This one is from Young Woody. Here we go. Here we go. This is GMK Muted. I actually think GMK Muted ended last week, but apparently it's good till tomorrow. So check it out. Miano, I'm sorry I can't 
hydrate anymore. I can't hydrate from an empty glass. I guess there's a little a little sliver left. <laughs> there, there we go. <laughs> there we go. And yeah, here is GMK muted round two. 130 bucks for the base kit, 55 for extension, 65 for international, um, 40 bucks for the cyan and purple accents, and 40 bucks for the 3A and 3C accents. Nice. Check it out. Thank you very much, Young Woody. Here, this is a PCB that's available on KP Republic called the BM60. Check it out if you guys want. This one will be interesting. There. This is an announcement from Canon Keys. But if you guys like the Chimera 65, there will be an in stock sale tomorrow. Tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. So A stock is 525, a minus stock slightly cheaper, and B stock for, for 475. Check, check this all out. Yeah. So 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Let's see. For me, that would be what? 8? No, wait, that, that would be 7 a.m. my time. Cool. Very cool. You can all purchase this on Canon Keys. Canon Keys is actually one of my sponsors on the channel, so check them out. Here we go. Here, we can all look at this together. This is from Homie Zone. This is the Frusta Fundamental. I feel like we covered this last week, though, didn't we? I swear we covered this last week. That does look good, though. Today is the in-stock drop. Okay, cool. Let's see, according to Homie Zone, 25 unit in-stock dropping in 7 hours. 270 for the regular anodization and 300 for the E-White. Here, let me link that in chat. Cool, it's... Apparently it's gasket mount. Wait, gasket mount, top mount, what? Oh, oh, okay, it's just explaining what they all are. Okay, interesting. I like how this board looks. I like how the, I guess it's the, it's the inner shell is a different color than the outer shell. Gives it that nice accented look. Cool. Okay. Frusta Experimental. What? Numpad kit. Cool. Oh, Homie Zone says you can choose whatever mount you like. Oh, interesting. That that reminds me of the... What, what was that board? The K-Mac Mini? Yeah, I think it was the K-Mac Mini that kind of had the same feature set. Cool. All right. Oh, well, if you guys like, here you go. Just to give a quick recap of all the stuff you guys sent me. That's GMK Muted, ending tomorrow, over on Switch Mod. There's this in-stock BM60 PCB in KP Republic. There's a Chimera 65 going live tomorrow at 11 a.m. for extras. And there's a Frosta Fun... Fundamental, Frusta Fundamental on Z Frontier, which allows you to have multiple, multiple mounting mechanisms. Oh yeah, there we go. Alright guys. Alright guys, thanks a lot for joining in. My next stream should be this coming Tuesday, in which I do a little bit more QMK and VIA work. If you guys want to know how that whole process comes together, tune in Tuesday, 7.30pm PST. And yeah, um, have a good start to your week, guys, and I will see you when I see you. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>